option, electrochemistry itself, uh, you know, it's it's sort of fascinated the minds of a lot of experimentalists, uh, and 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 for good reason because it forms a very important reaction in, in a number of technological devices, like, um, like fuel cells and 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 electrolyzers and, and things like that. But I think more importantly, scientifically, along with hydrogen electrochemistry, it sort of laid the foundations of all our understanding in sort of surface electrochemistry and surface electric analysis. And so I will I will tell about my journey of, of trying to understand oxygen electrochemistry in its various forms. And this is primarily through computational means. We're sort of ushering into this era where computational techniques are, are, are reaching the point where we can start to predict things and they sort of agree with uh, agree with techniques in, in some special cases experiments and maybe in some very, very special cases lead the experiment. So I'll, I'll tell you my journey both about following experiments and sort of leading experiments in some special cases. Um, so one can exploit oxygen electrochemistry in a, in a whole plethora of ways, and I'll, I'll, I'll sort of outline the umbrella of chemistry that one could do. Uh, what one could do with oxygen is to take four protons and four electrons and make water. And this is an important reaction because this forms the, the, the cathode reaction of, of a fuel cell. And, and what is really interesting is, is, is the following plot, which is basically cost versus the voltage penalty that you have to pay to drive this reaction forward. And, and what you see actually is, uh, is this, this is, the scale is basically 0.4 off. So in all the materials are about 0.4 volts away from zero. And, and, and we try and reason out why it is that this number exists. And, and what's also interesting is that anything that is good sort of gets expensive. So you, 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 cannot, uh, you cannot go cheap. Uh, because because the this is essentially the Pareto line, and so what what you what you see quickly is that anything that is good has to be expensive. Now you can reverse this reaction, uh, take water, and then uh, oxidize water uh, to form uh, to form oxygen. This is oxygen evolution. Same story. There's this point four limit, and and anything that is good is expensive, and then of the same order. So uh, which is quite interesting. So we try and think about why it is in this case. So I want to do one more thing with oxygen and protons. Uh, you could take two of them and form hydrogen peroxide. Uh, this is uh, understanding this is important for for two reasons. One, hydrogen peroxide is an unwanted uh, unwanted product uh, in a fuel cell, so it, it, it strongly affects the durability of the fuel cells. Uh, hydrogen peroxide is also a very very useful uh, chemical in the cleaning industry, and so. Uh, trying to understand this uh, might be useful for other reasons also. Now, we could do one other chemistry with oxygen. Uh, you could do this with lithium and electrons, and, and, and you could form lithium peroxide. Now, this is really important because this forms the discharge cycle of a lithium oxygen battery, uh, and hopefully a lithium air battery. Uh, and when you reverse this packet, <coughs> then you essentially get back oxygen and lithium and electrons. And this forms the charging cycle of a lithium oxygen battery. And so we try and understand these key problems. And, and, and this is sort of uh, the main area that I have worked on. And I'll tell you my journey 